Hello there, this is Lynn Allen with another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Oh my goodness, it is so stormy up here in Northern California. I hope that wherever you are, that you are staying nice and warm and nice and dry. All right, so today we're gonna continue with the tip that we talked about last time. We're going to talk about the in-canvas viewport controls. In case you don't remember, that's these guys right up pair in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. They only show up in model space and they're extremely valuable for those of you who work in 3D, okay? So we took a look at the first column, my last tip, let's knock out the last two columns, right? So remember the first column had to do with your viewport controls. And we're gonna move on to the second column. This basically controls the viewing angle of the model that you have on the screen. So for example, if I click on that second column, you can see that we're at the top looking down at the model. Maybe I wanna look at a Southwest isometric. You know, or maybe I want to look at a northeast isometric. So you can just kind of wander through here until you get to the viewing angle that you want. It's just another way of, you know, another way of maneuvering your model around. You'll also see in here that you have the ability to go to custom model views. I don't know if you save views. Um, even if you just use 2D, this is really handy for going quickly from one view to another. For example, I can click on here and very quickly go to a view of, of an example that I use for the array command when I'm doing a demo. Or I can click on audience. This will take me to a 3D view of the stadium. Or I can go back to where I was at the very top. So it's a nice way to jet around your drawing very, very quickly. You know, how do you save views? Well, that's another tip for another day, but you'd be able to go to the view manager from here as well and help you set up those views so you can go quickly from A to B and B to C. All right, so that is basically the second column in the in-canvas viewport controls. All right, so the last column has to do with visual styles. If I move my cursor up here, basically, you know, how do I want my 3D model to appear? Let's put it in a better 3D position. Let's go to like Southeast Isometric, for example. And I'm gonna drop this last column down and let's see what it looks like uh, sketchy. Oh my goodness, it looks like I drew it by hand, right? Let's see what it looks like uh, shaded with edges. It's interesting, right? So you can go through here and you can try all of the X-ray. You're gonna be able to see right through everything, you know, like basically a wireframe. You can see all the different views of your drawing. You might have saved a custom visual style. You can quickly go to those. Let's go back, let's go to realistic. That's the one I like the most. Pretty interesting and very speedy way to get to different visual styles. And of course, if you haven't set up your own visual styles or you wanna customize it, you can go to the visual styles manager. So all of that is available within the second and third column of the in-canvas viewport controls. Pretty simple, right? All right, so if you use 3D, I wanna make sure that you are fully aware of the power of these in-canvas viewport controls. Start to use them, and you're gonna be able to navigate around your drawing in no time. Thank you for joining me.